Hi, this is Linda, and um, I understand that Obama did a commencement speech at um, <clears throat> the Ohio State University, and that was on May 5th. Well, he talked about tyranny and don't listen to people talking about the tyrannical government. Well, May 4th, now I don't know if this is by coincidence that they did this, in 1970, there was something that happened in Ohio at Kent State that was very tyrannical. So I don't know how these people in Ohio can ever forget this. And I'm just going to show you, for those younger ones uh, that don't know, and my age, well, we do know. But here you go. My name is Alan Canfora. Here I am at Kent in my capacity as the director of the Kent May 4th Center. On May 4th, 1970, I was a Kent State University junior and I was an anti-war activist for a couple of years. I'm here near my tree where I was standing uh, watching the National Guard as they marched away. They were going up a hilltop. We never expected that the National Guard would do anything more than perhaps just tear gas us. And when they did start tear gassing, uh, we ran away. So instead of us having a confrontation on the Kent State Commons, we were chased to the other side of the hill. These 76 men reached the top of the hill. Suddenly on the right flank, I saw about a dozen men. These dozen men stopped simultaneously, turned, raised their weapons, and they began to shoot. Immediately, I thought, they must be firing blanks. There was just no reason for them to shoot. Uh, the closest student to them was 60 feet away. Uh, no one was throwing any objects at the time. Nobody was any threat. It looked like a retreat. They were marching away. It looked like they were going back where they had come from. But suddenly, they stopped, and they turned, and they started shooting. It was, a, a, it was an unbelievable, surreal moment. When I jumped behind the tree, I, I knelt. Immediately, I felt a bullet pass through my right wrist. The bullet entered the front of my wrist and it came out through the side. I was shot within the first second or two. So that means for the next 11 or 12 seconds, the vast majority of the 67 shots were flying in my direction down the hill, but mostly behind me into the parking lot area where all four students were killed and four others were wounded. So about I'd say 60 feet behind where I was wounded is where my friend Jeff Miller was shot uh, through the head. The bullet entered his uh, right cheek. He was killed instantly. He's in that famous photograph where the young uh, woman Mary Vecchio is screaming over his dead body. And uh, that was exactly behind me. It's very possible that the bullet that went through my arm could have hit Jeffrey. We were in the exact line of fire. Since 1970, we've always wondered, why did the National Guard shoot? We always just assumed there had to be a military command because for a dozen men to stop, turn, aim, and fire, and continue to fire for 13 seconds, it's no accident. That has always been the central mystery about the Kent State tragedy. Okay, guys, Kent State happened May 4th, 1970. He does a commencement speech May 5th at Ohio State University talking about tyranny. Well, you know, I, I hope it doesn't fly well. I'm going to debunk you, Obama. You, you're insane or you've got a cognitive dissonance disorder. We're not going to forget Kent State and what you did in Ohio. Peace, love, no fear, and um, yeah, this is getting insane.